everyone. It's time for that upper body workout I've been mentioning all show. So Zara is here with the exercises you can do anywhere, anytime with basic equipment or even items that you just grabbed around the house, which is what I'm going to do. And Zara, it's so important for us to work on our upper body strength. Why is it so important? Yes, for sure. So especially, I mean, I would say, you know, as women, we want to work on that upper body strength. A lot of people um, like to focus on like having the shape of the arms and having that definition. But just for our everyday overall strength, our posture, just doing things like we do every day, taking the groceries, shoveling, carrying the kids, lugging our luggage when we go on those trips, hopefully soon. So it's really important to have that upper body strength. And we want to make sure that we hit all the different parts of the upper body. Now, what are the major areas we need to focus on to get a well-rounded upper body workout? Yeah, so when you think of your upper body, we're talking about, you know, things to keep our posture in check, right? So we're talking about our back muscles. Those, I'm going to go largest muscles to smallest muscles. So the back with our posture keeps us, us upright. We've got our chest muscles, right? We work on those when we are pushing things away from us. It's important to work the shoulders, things above the head. And then we want to work on the biceps and the triceps as well. Fantastic. Okay, so you've got some exercises uh, that we're going to go through, and we'll do sort of like a circuit. What exercise are we starting with? Okay, so we'll start off on the ground. We'll get that one over with first. And this one is a great one because you actually don't need equipment if we're doing push-ups. And again, like I said, you're pushing your body away, so those push-ups are really going to help strengthen the chest muscles and the triceps. So you can do it on a bench, on a chair. You can do it on your knees, so you can come down onto the ground. You want to line up your hands in line with your chest. And you want to bring your chest down to the ground, nice and slow, and then really think of pushing yourself back up nice and strong. So come down nice and controlled and back up. And I'm sure you're doing those full push-ups because I know how strong you are. But it's <laughs> amazing. Am. As you do them, you feel your upper body get stronger. <laughs> you feel that upper body get stronger. And your body weight resistance is a great resistance to start off with. Very good. Okay, so we've pushed for our chest. What have we got next? Yes. Okay, so now we are going to into our pulling motion and that is back. So if you're using household items, right, we can use water bottle, a can of beans. Because our back muscle is so large, you can actually use something a little bit heavier. So you've got like laundry detergent. Sometimes that's, you know, that's like five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, depending on how big your laundry detergent is. So I'm using weights here, but if you've got your laundry detergent, you can just bend forward. You wanna keep your back nice and flat, a nice bend in your knees. And you can pull, if you've got both, you can row. You want to keep your spine neutral, so your head in line with your spine. And really squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. And if you've only got one, you can row on one side. And that actually works on your core a little bit as well. It sure does, yeah. you're stabilizing yourself. I'm feeling it. Yeah, so it's sure. nice that you can use detergent a couple <laughs> of ways because, you know, it costs some money there. So yeah. before it's all empty, you get some, get some reps exactly. in. Exactly. What's our next, <laughs> yeah. what's our next and move? And if you have no weight, fill up your detergent with water. Oh, okay, so right. now we're going into shoulders. So I think you, yeah, you, if you have, um, so if you have something to grip, that's great, right? But again, shoulders is a larger muscle group. So if you want to add a little bit more weight, you can even take books and stack them together. And hold them like this, and we're gonna do a front raise. So we're just lifting and back down. So keep your body nice and straight, core tight, lifting up so those shoulders are working, and back down. If you've got weights, you can do the same thing. Up and down, and nice and controlled. Again, you can work with tempo too. The slower you go, the more challenging it is. That's right. So if you don't wanna add more reps, you can go a little bit slower, but make sure you are challenging yourself exactly. at a suitable level. Okay, so we're, we're pumping our shoulders exactly. now. What's on the list for next? Okay, so now we're gonna to go to a bicep curl. So this is great with a lighter weight. The biceps are a smaller muscle group. So you can grab weights or your water bottles if you have, and just curl up and back down. Curl up and back down, nice and controlled. You want to keep your elbows pinned to your side. Nice. Okay, so these are really good. And Perfect. Good. A lot of people talk about, um, you know, I like the fact that you're working the front of the body and the back of the body when it comes to the upper body, because it's not just about doing yeah. endless curls. It's actually about working the muscle from every no. single angle. And we see you doing that on your Instagram so brilliantly. Exactly. What have we got next? Thanks. So next we're gonna go into triceps. So like you said, right, we've got the front of the arm, now we gotta work the back of the arm. So triceps, again, whatever you have 
it is again a smaller muscle group than the chest or the back so you can do tricep kickbacks so you can again just go back into that similar position you did for your row and you're just going to keep your elbows pinned to the side and press your arms back all right everyone i'm using beans nice and controlled i don't really love to up. eat canned <laughs> beans but i sure do love to use them for my <laughs> tricep kickbacks <laughs> They do the trick. Well, there, there's a use for them. That's great. Yeah, exactly. When we're at home doing this circuit, uh, how many reps do we do to complete the circuit, Zare? So go for 10 to 12 reps of each exercise and go through all those five exercises and then try to get in three rounds. So working on muscle endurance as well, right? We're not just doing one and done. Try to get that 10 to 12 reps in and go for three rounds total. That'll give you a really good upper body workout. Zara, we love it. We love the fact that you looked around your house and you can get a good workout in. And this is always the <laughs> message for Zara on Instagram. You do sure. not need a fancy gym. Exactly. All you need is a little bit of space no and you excuses. can get it done. No excuses. <laughs>